If you're like me and like most guys, green pumpkin is a color lure that you throw a lot. Green pumpkin. Green pumpkin. Green pumpkin. Green pumpkin. Green pumpkin. This color mimics so many things in the water and it is my absolute go-to. If I cannot catch a bass, I will pick up something green pumpkin and go catch fish. But believe it or not, there are a few situations that I do not pick up green pumpkin. And today I wanna to talk about those. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a good one. This video is brought to you by the Deep Dive app. This is an app that helps you to locate and catch bass a lot quicker. Once you download the app, you can actually select the lake that you are fishing. It's going to bring in the current weather conditions. Then you can input the data that you're seeing, like water temperature, water clarity, whether you're fishing around vegetation, whether you're fishing in a windy or protected area. Once you do this, the app is going to spit out some strategies, some locations, and some lures that you can use to attack the body of water that you are fishing. There's a free version and there is a paid version. And if this interests you, there is a link down below in the description. Click on that link and you're greatly gonna help support the Bass Fishing HQ channel. Now, if you've been bass fishing for more than about 10 minutes, you probably know about the color green pumpkin. This is a very natural color, and it seems that almost no matter what type of lure you are fishing, you can catch bass on a green pumpkin colored whatever, whether that's a Texas rig worm or a jig. I've even caught bass on green pumpkin crankbaits. It mimics crawfish, it mimics bluegill, it can work in really clear water, it can work in really muddy water, but, like I said in the intro, there are a few situations, three in particularly, that I actually do not pick up the color green pumpkin. Now, with that being said, I'm not saying that green pumpkin absolutely will not catch you a bass in these situations. I'm just saying that other colors might actually work better. So let's dive into those situations right now. So the first situation that I have run across in numerous parts of the country where I actually tend to use different colors than a green pumpkin whatever is actually when I am fishing in tannic colored water. Now, if you don't know what I mean by tannic water, a lot of guys will refer to this as almost black water. This is what we also call tea colored water. This tannic water is actually a little bit deceiving because it can actually Actually be very clean and clear water but it is very dark in color. Now you tend to see this color of water in a lot of lakes down in Florida, but I have actually seen this across the country. I have seen it in Mississippi. I have seen it up all the way in New York. So tannic color water, this dark colored black water is a water that I tend to actually not use green pumpkins. And the biggest reason that I don't always use a green pumpkin is because I have found that other colors, colors like June bug or black and blue tend to work a little bit better. When you are fishing this water, although it can look pretty clean, if you were to actually dive down into the water, it's very dark. It actually feels almost like you have your eyes closed. And in that situation, that dark water, dark lures tend to produce a little bit better. I really like straight black, black and blue, that June bug color. And the reason why those colors tend to work a little bit better is because they will actually silhouette a little bit better in the water, which basically just means that the bass can see a dark color contrast better in dark water than something like a green pumpkin. Now, again, I'm not saying that green pumpkin will not work in that situation. I have just seen it that other colors, especially those dark colors, tend to work a little bit better. And something that I find to be a little bit weird is when I actually want to go a little bit more natural in this tannic color water, it seems like the color watermelon red will also outproduce green pumpkin. And I don't know that reason. A lot of times when I am Florida, those are kind of the staple colors that I fish a lot of times. It's a, it's a June bug, it's a black and blue, or it's a watermelon red. So if you are fishing in an area with that tannic colored water and you constantly hear guys talk about green pumpkin this and green pumpkin that, it may actually not even apply to you. Now, for a lot of you guys, you may not experience that tannic, that tea colored water, but this second situation is something that happens to absolutely every person out there who fishes. And this is any time that I am fishing in very dark, 
conditions the outside weather is very dark that is when i'm going to pick up a different colored lure other than green pumpkin now one of the biggest dark situations that we run out to out on the water whether you're fishing ponds or lakes is simply when you have a lot of cloud cover in the area if you go outside and maybe you have some thunderstorms or or just a lot of cloud cover it tends to make everything a little bit darker and in those dark situations kind of like what we talked about with tannic and tea colored water, I tend to pick up a darker colored lure, one that silhouettes better in the water. And I will do this even when I am fishing extremely clear water. I feel like a lot of people think that if you are fishing crystal clear water, water that you can see 15, 20, 25, 30 foot of water, that you need to use something that is extremely natural. I will still fish a dark colored lure, like a black lure, if I am facing dark situations outside. Again, I just have seen that that dark color will outproduce even a green pumpkin if it is dark outside. Now, maybe you live in a part of the country where the sun is shining a lot and you don't deal with a lot of dark days, but guess what? You still deal with dark times throughout a day. And what I'm referring to is early morning and late in the evening. Something that I picked up from Greg Hackney, one of my favorite professional anglers years ago, was that I would notice that anytime he was flipping or pitching the bank, he would always start out in the mornings with a dark color jig, something that was black and blue, even if he was fishing an extremely clear water. But as that day and as that sun got higher, he would switch over to our favorite color, which is green pumpkin. So in those dark situations or in the morning or late in the evening, a dark color can outproduce green pumpkin. Now the third and final time that I tend to pick up a color other than green pumpkin are when bass are extremely focused on bait fish like threadfin shad or gizzard shad. If you look at a threadfin or gizzard shad, they are very white or silverish in color. And when bass are extremely focused on that bait fish, I feel like you can actually catch more fish by fishing a whitish or silverish bait over something like a green pumpkin. And this happens even when I am kind of flipping and pitching. I feel like a lot of us, when we pick up a flipping and pitching rod, whether that's a, a plastic bait or a jig, we don't think about a silverish or a whitish color soft plastic. A lot of times we're picking up the black and blues or the green pumpkins. But again, if bass are focused on shad, this is an optimal time. This is a great time to actually flip those baits that are that silverish or whitish in color. This is something that you see a lot during the shad spawn every single year. When the shad spawn happens, typically in April, May, or June, depending on where you live in the country, using a silver or a white soft plastic will actually catch you more bass than a green pumpkin. We've seen several anglers actually do really well in big time tournaments like the Bassmaster Elite Series. I remember seeing Kevin Van Dam flipping around a white creature bait and Jason Christie was flipping around a silver tube all when the shad were spawning. So if those bass are really focused on shad, I would actually suggest going with that white or that silver color over a green pumpkin. Now with all that being said, bass are opportunistic feeders, which means if an opportunity presents itself, whether that's a snake or a bird falls in the water, a bass may take advantage of it. But I think one of the most important things in bass fishing to help you catch more fish than the average guy is actually focusing on the extremes of bass fishing. Instead of fishing that same size bait we all fish, fish something smaller or fish something a lot bigger. And I talk about that a lot in this video right here about going to the extremes when it comes to selecting a lure. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I think you'll enjoy this one as well. Please don't forget to comment below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.